What is up, guys? Today we're going to be bypassing the password on protected Excel workbooks and also Word documents that are restricted editing. Um, this is for educational purposes and is just for learning security and making sure that our files are secure and that if we want our um, data to be protected, that we use the correct restrictions. Um, protecting the Excel worksheet doesn't really do a whole lot um, to someone who really wants to get in, and I'm going to show you guys why. Um, if you are looking for encrypted Excel or Office files, um, click the top right hand corner, and that'll take you to my video on cracking encrypted Office files. But if you're just here for protected, then stay right here. So we have our Excel sheet, and I can edit it, I can add stuff, I can delete stuff, I can add sheets. If you go to File, Info, Protect Workbook, we can protect the current sheet. We can give that a password. I'm using a deliberately insecure password because it doesn't matter anyway. And now we can't protect, we can't uh, make changes, edit, delete, add stuff. Um, we can also go to Info, Protect Workbook, and Protect the Workbook Structure. And that makes it so you can't add or delete uh, worksheets inside of the workbook. So I'm going to do that as well. And then I'm going to save this file. I'm going to close it, open up where it's at. I'm going to make a copy just because we're going to be doing some. Uh, that's not it. We're going to make a copy um, just because we're going to be doing some edits to it and we might want to open up the file later. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to change the extension to .zip because all Office files are just .zip files that have XML files and other stuff inside of them. Um, if you can't change the file extension, go to Options, View, and then go to Hide Extensions for Known File Types and just make sure it's unchecked. Once we have that, we can open it with 7-zip or any other um, like package extractor like WinRAR, 7-zip, anything like that. If you guys need a link to install that, I'll have it down in the comment section. Um, you're going to open up the XL folder, the worksheets folder, and then you're going to find the sheet that you that is protected. Um, for me, this is sheet one. It usually goes in order from left to right from the sheet or from the workbook. I'm going to open that up with Visual Studio Code. Uh, you can open up with Notepad or whatever. Um, I'm actually going to open up with Notepad instead, um, just so Oh, I'm just going to open up a VS Code. Uh, but you can open it up with anything, any other text editor. We're going to go to the very right hand side. And we're going to find sheet protection. We're going to go all the way to page margins. And we're going to delete it. Once you're done with that, Control S to save. It's going to say it was modified. It modified. You can say yes, we want to update it. You can close this. Rename it back to an Excel set sheet, XLSX. Yes. Open it back up, and now we can edit the sheet again. We can write whatever we want, and we can. Um, destroy data. So protecting a worksheet does not do a whole lot because we did not need the password to open it back up. Um, that's different from encryption. Again, go see my other video on how to encrypt your sheets if you want to um, have it be more secure. Um, but we still can't add or delete sheets. So let's go into that. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to close this. I'm not going to save our changes. We're going to rename it back to a zip. We're going to go to the Excel folder again. I'm going to open this with Notepad. So I'm going to click Edit. And I'm going to find Protection. Subtype in Protect. And then we're going to grab everything from workbook protect protection all the way to book views. 
going to delete that. Control S to save. It's going to ask me if I want to update it. Yes. And then we can close this, rename it. XLSX. Yes. Open it back up. And now we can add sheets. We can delete sheets and we can edit our original sheet. If you guys like this video, um, hit like, get subscribed, uh, watch my other video on how to crack encrypted office files. And I'll see you guys all later.